So let's talk about iPads in 2022. We'll start with the cheapest and get to the most expensive. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. So this, the cheapest iPad is just a regular iPad. Um, this year they did a great job. They did minor updates, which they always do, but I like the updates that they brought. You're gonna get a little bit better performance and you're gonna get a better screen, which essentially is the thing that I like the most in terms of the design change. Um, the, the display is what you're going to be interacting with the most, so that's always appreciated, especially on such a cheap or budget-friendly device. So it, that, that's a win. I would definitely grab it if you're someone who's doing casual stuff like watching content or, or you know, maybe playing like some, some games on it, nothing too crazy, just Candy Crush, stuff like that. Um, you can do much more on it, but I wouldn't buy it for something like video editing or music production. Mostly because you don't have the Apple Pencil, but also just RAM and stuff like that. I know that iPads don't necessarily maximize the RAM that they have for reasons that we won't get into. But doesn't matter. I wouldn't use it for more intense stuff because there's better options that are more future-proof. So if you're doing casual stuff, definitely you're okay to go, go grab it. Um, if you want to move up slightly... The next option is the iPad mini, which they refreshed this year and they did a great job. It's got good performance, uh, less RAM than the iPad Pro, but still enough RAM. And you're gonna just get good performance with a decent screen. Doesn't have 120 Hertz, uh, but on the, keep in mind, it's a smaller screen. Um, now, why I'm not gonna get that device, even though you can run quite a bit of stuff on it and you're not gonna necessarily be lacking in performance, is mostly because the form factor is just too close to my 13 Pro Max, which I'm filming on right now. Um, and the 13 Pro Max is, is such a great device that I don't feel like I'm getting that much more other than the pencil. Um, and I do like the form factor. It's just if I'm going to buy one iPad, that's not going to be the one I'm going to get. It, that would be sick if I had enough money to buy a few iPads. Yeah, it's cool to have. It's super small. You could take it with you. The pen sticks and takes uh, the, like the whole side of the device, which is super nice uh, and sleek. But in terms of usability, it, it's not enough for me, um, but it is a great device. So I would recommend picking it up if the use case works for you. Um, but, you know, most people are kind of looking at the iPad Air upwards these days, at least the people in my circle. Um, and the iPad Air is a great device. It's not the device, once again, that I would choose this year. When it came out, it was fantastic. It's still fantastic. But I feel like now we're kind of due for an upgrade there. And it's starting to show some signs of age. You might not necessarily notice it when you use it. But in terms of features and of um, you know what has come out since, I do think they're going to do a nice little upgrade that will make it a little better. So I would wait. Um, also, the reason that I, I get a little bit annoyed with it is that it only starts with 64 gigs. Um, and then you, you kind of have to jump up. It's a similar issue with the uh, iPad uh, mini. Um, they make you jump up quite, quite large. You're spending a lot more and then you're getting into the territory of the iPad Pro, which is, to me, a much better device. So I think if you're doing that, you might as well go iPad Pro because the iPad Pro starts out 128 gigs. So I wouldn't use the iPad Air uh, for that reason, but it's great. I prefer to have the 120 Hertz refresh rate uh, on the iPad Pro, and I also like you know, the storage space. So iPad Air is fantastic, but I would wait until the new one comes out. iPad Pro, now you got the 11 inch, and then you got the 12.9 inch. Which one do you get? Um, for me, I get the 11 inch and that that is what I got. Um, I had the cash to go get the 12.9 inch, but I thought about it and I actually had the 12.9 inch two years ago and I brought it back because I noticed, so it's a fantastic device, okay? This year is also way cooler because you're getting the better display. The thing is, is that it became not really an iPad for me anymore because it was too big that I wouldn't take it with me everywhere I went like it was just like I would just leave it there and I would come back to that spot to use it 
and it kind of defeated the purpose of why I wanted an iPad. I wanted an iPad because it was easy to bring around, it's thin, um, and I was just kind of using it like a laptop, and then I was like, well then, if that's the case, there's better laptops. So, it's gonna depend for everyone, but for me, I much prefer the 11 inch, because it feels like I'm getting the best of everything, right? You're getting a decent sized screen, it's not as good as, as the 12.9 inch, but it's a very good display with 120 hertz. You're getting the M1 chip in either way. You're getting great performance, uh, good RAM. Uh, you start at 128 gigs. There's, there's a lot of positives uh, to starting with the iPad Pro. So you can also come in at just the base, the cheapest iPad Pro. And for most people, that'll be a great option, which is what I did. Now, if you need more storage, it gets expensive quick, but you know, that's the case for all the iPads. And at least with the iPad Pro, you have a lot of different options in terms of storage space. So that does help. So I told you guys which one I would go with. It's the 11 inch base model. I think that's the one that most people would love if they, if they got, and that's easy to say, right? When you're, you're essentially suggesting the most, one of the most expensive ones but it's definitely not anywhere close to as expensive as the 12.9 inch. Now, keep in mind also for the iPad Pros, I wouldn't be shocked if they do a big update again this year. So that's something to keep in mind. If you can wait, um, I, I wouldn't mind waiting. You know, like they've done this for a few times now where it looks very similar and every few years they give it that big upgrade. If they're going to upgrade an iPad Air, they're gonna have to make the iPad Pro better because last time the iPad Air was just too close to the iPad Pro. So, you know, then we saw a larger leap on the Pros, they got the M1 chip and everything. So just keep that in mind that they're probably gonna do a nice little upgrade to the Pro. So if you can wait it out, wait it out. But if you can't, you're, you're getting an M1, right? You're, you're already on the new silicon. So it's not a bad call. I would, I would always go with this one if you had to buy one now. All right, guys? So curious to, to, to hear what, which one you guys would choose. Uh, in 20, keep in mind for 2022 and uh, link it down, put it down in the comments, let people know which one you would choose. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.